I didn't know what this was experience was going to feel like. And it's very emotional for me. Uh, I'm, it's really, it's, it's something. It really is. You know, there's uh, something we always ask ourselves. What is faith? What does it mean to have what the word is emunah? And there is a moment in the Torah, in this week's Torah portion, um, and I'm not speaking about what I was intending on speaking, but I had this little clip because I was going to use it in a message I was going to give, but it is probably the most significant moment of faith that exists in biblical tradition. You know, we read this week about Abraham who is out of nowhere, literally out of nowhere, he is selected by God to go on this journey. Um, we don't know why he's selected. There's all kinds of legends about it. But this one person, in partnership with his wife, Sarah, um, go on this journey. And the Torah tells us what God says to Abraham and Sarah when they're about to have this, this mission, this journey. He says, The Lord said to Avram, Go forth from the, your native land and from your father's house to the land that I will show you. And I will bless you and I will make your name great. And you shall be a blessing and I will bless those who bless you and curse him that curses you. And all the families of the earth shall bless themselves by you. So this command that Abraham hears or he thinks he hears, it's not really important to me. But here is this Abraham out of nowhere that's told by God that he is to go on this incredible journey. He doesn't know where he's going. He doesn't know what obstacles he's going to find. He doesn't know what opportunities will unfold before him, but he goes forward, recognizing and believing that he has the resources and the strength and the intelligence and intuition to survive this journey. And the fact of the matter is, and we're not sure if Abraham was a historical figure, but if he was a historical figure, this happened about 3,500 3, years ago. So the dream, the journey, this moment of hope and of faith that started with Abraham has led us to this moment. Because we are a people who have faith. But it's not the faith that some people describe it as. Faith in Judaism is not some belief that there's some kind of supernatural um, uh, intervention into the world that everything is going to be all right because God says it's so. Faith in Judaism, the way I understand it is, is the belief that we have within ourselves the inner resources, the inner strengths, um, the hope, the faith, the prayer that whatever confronts us somehow will be able to endure and to triumph. Abraham's faith, Abraham's commitment to go forward 3,500 years ago, I think is very relevant to our being here this, this evening. Um, Becky and Nathan, I, I really want you to hear this because you have um, been my partner in this. You know, March 20th in 2000, I'm so confused now, 2020? Um, we stopped being a synagogue in person. And the only thing that we've done in person was parking lot Shabbat, which was wonderful, but we had to stay in our cars. And everything else that we have done, we have done through all kinds of creative ways of doing it. Our synagogue life in terms of our leadership, in terms of the business of the synagogue has been done virtually. Um, initially on Zoom. Um, in March, we started to, to do worship on Zoom 
standing in front of my little computer on the pulpit of the New Reform Temple, praying that it was going to work. Then, Nathan, you convinced us to get a camera, and one, but one night the camera was on its side, so we did the service like people thinking we were on our sides. Then we got the idea that we could broadcast the service, so we heard of this thing called BoxCast that ended up guiding us to being able to broadcast it, take, ha take the camera that we had and then broadcast it on Facebook and on our website and on YouTube, and we have continued. We, do, we did two High Holidays completely virtually. Friends, that's faith. And I mean it so sincerely. That is faith. It's the belief that something noble and important has to happen, and we are going to find the inner resources, the strength, the creativity to make it happen. To me, that's what it means to believe in God. Because I don't think that comes just out of nowhere. It comes because there's somehow in this universe this strength and this power that we can draw upon to make things happen, even in the most difficult times. Now we know the reality. The reality, since we started doing this, tens of millions of Americans have gotten sick, hundreds of thousands of Americans have died, millions of people have died across the world because of COVID-19, and nothing we could do or say can, can even address that. But even in this crazy world that we have lived in, and the fear that we've lived in, we have had the faith to go forward. And just think about the New Reformed Temple. Not only do we have faith to go on and broadcast services, then we have the faith, and Tom Eisenberg, I want you to hear this, then we have the faith to say, well, we're going to move out of our building, we're going to raise money, and we're going to redo our building during the pandemic. That's faith. That the faith is, do, do we think people are going to rejoin the synagogue if the building doesn't exist? We, got, we have 18 new families who joined the synagogue this year. That is faith. So I don't want to sound like a fundamentalist preacher, but I'm in a tent. Revival. It's a revival. My theology doesn't work in a revival, though. But, it, but in all seriousness, um, all of you who are gathered here, those of you who are out there watching us, um, we are a faith community. We're a community that not only believes in the gift of Judaism that's been given us, that we inherited, the call that was given to Abraham, but the call that's given in every generation, that we are to respond to that and continue to live as Jews in the best, most, possible, most positive way and to take the values of Judaism and take them into the world and try to make the world better. Um, so I thank all of you for giving me faith because it wouldn't happen if um, our congregation, the members of our community didn't respond and say, we still want to be a community. We still want to have, we still want to do something special because we believe that the gift of being a Jew is one of the greatest gifts that anyone could ever have. So Becky and Nathan, thank you for keeping this going with me, and I pray we can keep it, still keep it going, and I thank everyone here um, who is part of our community. I thank people who are out there in camera land who are part of this community. We have a lot to be thankful for, and we have a lot to be faithful for. Let's keep the faith. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.